Franklin WH is one of the newest entrants in the whole home energy storage market. The WH, in fact, stands for a whole home, and as you'll see, they mean it. Here to make the pitch is co-founder, CEO, and U.S. General Manager, Gary Lamb, and Sales Director, Justin Hopkins. So Gary, I, I wanted to start with you. You know, uh, Franklin Whole Home is maybe new to uh, installers in our audience. So I was hoping you could just start us as the CEO, co-founder, to give us a quick overview of the company and kind of your position in the market going forward. So our company was founded in 2019. And um, actually, there's a bit of story behind the name of the Franklin WH. For Franklin WH, where the WH originally stand for one hour, but I think it's a little bit uh, not too nerd. <laughs> so not a lot of homeowner and I understand that. Our battery is aimed for a whole home market and that fit in perfectly with the WH. So right now the company is called Franklin Whole Home. And from the name you already heard, um, we offer a whole home energy solutions to consumer. The Franklin Home Power System is one of the most robust, complete energy storage management systems that, that I've seen for sure. Justin, I don't know if you could break it down for us, kind of go component by component on what installers should know. So we have two two units. We have the A gate and the A power at. The A gate is our intelligent controller. So that controller has a main panel where you can connect to the grid, to the solar PV, to an optional generator. And that also has connection for backup loads and non-backup loads. So the home only can decide uh, really what they want to back up and what they don't. Um, they have the option to go for the entire house or they have the option to sequester fire. One of the unique options that we have is our smart circuits. So those are three circuits. Um, they can be controlled by the smartphone app and then the homeowner actually can turn them on and off. So these are used for things like an electrical vehicle charger, air conditioning, pool pump, things that might not be vital in an outage when the customer is trying to preserve power. What are some examples of how the A-Gate maximizes power management, both in normal operations and for backup? As mentioned, the A-Gate integrates all of those power sources. So you have the grid, your solar installed, batteries, even generators. So that's done through a clearly designed panel with an all AC connectivity. So homeowners can choose multiple energy plans. So for instance, uh, the battery can be charged from the solar as a priority, and then the home powered with excess of, uh, that would normally go to the grid. Or the home can be powered first by solar generation with the overflow going to charge the battery. So depending on you know the importance of their situation, they could shift that. But one of our more useful features I think is really relevant right now, the current utility situation is our load shifting. So that battery can be charged from the grid during the low demand, low cost times, such as at night or during the day when you're not home and you're working. And then you provide power to the home during peak use periods, like late afternoon and evening when the kids are getting home and everybody's turning everything on, right? So the backups are critical with the state of utility grids. The A-gate can switch to battery power in 15 milliseconds. So that's a, essentially data grade speed. This is gonna help protect home devices. It's gonna keep the home powered. Likely they're not gonna have to change their clocks. So, and then the A-gate also has connections for backup and non-backup panels, like we said. So if the homeowner wants to keep a portion of their you know, critical loads covered, they can do that and leave parts in the dark. But again, our battery is really designed for whole home use. Does that replace having to do a sub panel or upgrade with like a span panel or something like that? Right, right. That's such a great question. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years and, you know, I've saved a lot of people from Federal Pacific panels <laughs> that probably should have been recalled 30 years ago. Um, with that being said, right, uh, one of the advantages with our battery, especially older homes, is the A gate can eliminate the need for the main panel upgrade. So our A gate actually has a 280 amp bus bar on a 200 amp main connection. So that's gonna support folks that are maybe sitting on 125 or 100 amp panel right now, are looking to add more solar, expand their, their energy usage and electrify their home a little bit more. Uh, this is gonna accommodate that uh, in a really big way, including adding an electric car to the home in the future or adding an air conditioning in the future. Not to mention the delays that come with main panel upgrades. I'm kind of speaking to a select audience of installers here, but um, the, the amount of revenue that gets held up in the two to three month wait times where we really rely on limited inspectors when there's just such a lack of labor, right? So the expectation now is that installs are gonna take with storage five, six, seven months even, and it's kind of become acceptable, which really hurts revenue. So we're, we're excited to speed things up, get people their solar and their storage faster and uh, in a more efficient way. That should be factored into the 
kind of price tag or the system comparison, I would think, right? The, the, the avoidance of extra electrical work or panel upgrades or the avoidance of delays. It's a cost savings to the homeowner. Like it should be factored into the price comparison. Absolutely. It's not what makes us more expensive, right? That's, this is just a feature and a benefit um, of our, like a well-designed system that operates efficiently. So let's switch to the battery for a second. We haven't really touched on it. The A-Power. It's an LFP battery, which is great. It has 13.6 kilowatt hours of energy capacity. It can push out 10 kilowatts of peak power. Those numbers pretty much speak for themselves. So my question is on the charging capability. Is the battery able to charge faster than it's typical because of the integrated inverter? You know, let me kind of create a comparison, right? The DC coupled system is going to use a hybrid inverter for both solar and battery. The AC coupled system separates them, right? So the A-Power integrates the battery inverter with the battery. So that provides kind of like four key benefits, I guess. Um, the system is designed for retrofits, right? So homes that already have solar can easily put our battery on. Uh, without the extra cost of the hybrid inverter. This is going to function really well with many inverters and sometimes better than some of the current inverter batteries work with their own inverters. It's designed and built in-house. So our, the inverter in our battery is actually assembled into the A-Power. It's already right there. There's nothing extra the installer has to do. And then the DC coupled system, right? If that was to fail, it's going to shut down the entire system, right? So separating our battery from the solar inverter increases the system reliability. It's going to mean it's going to work more often and better. And then you know, the worst part is, right, most grid-tied inverters are going to have very limited power output. So the A-Power design works with the grid and the solar to provide continuous discharge power. At 5 kilowatt, you know, that's pretty standard, uh, but it's going to stack linearly. But our surge power is what's going to allow us to start whole home appliances, right, where you can start stop worrying about is my AC going to come on or that kind of thing. So that surge power really differentiates us from everybody in the market. And just to... Uh, clarify in, in the retrofit situation you mentioned, does it matter what inverters are installed or how large the PV system is? We took a different approach to ensure a maximum compatibility with every inverter, right? So our, our technology doesn't relay on any like frequency shift or things that based on inverter technology. Everything uh, has built into our A gates has include monitoring and uh, remote control for the PV. So we do not depend on the PV inverter's performance uh, for off-grid uh, connections. I think that is a very important part. That way we are support very, very old legacy solar inverter, as well as you know we are able to keep uh, the frequency in-house very constant for any sensitive um, power equipment. One last performance metric I was curious about is what happens when that big old battery is drained? So our battery is unique, right? It's actually a 15 kilowatt hour battery, but we give the customer access to 13.6 kilowatt hours, right? That's that's vital because uh, as many people know, they can drain a, a storage unit relatively quickly when they're not watching it. But we wanna make sure that the customer the next morning, right? After they've used their power, is still gonna have enough power to start up their battery with their solar, right? And do the whole thing over again. I used to re refer to this as zombie proofing, but the essentially, you know, the system is gonna work day in, day out, as long as that PV stays connected, we can keep uh, a little bit of power source in there. That's known as Black Star. So it's a 13.6 battery, but really it's a 15 kilowatt battery. I want to understand too that how the system, because it connects to the cloud and it uses the internet. So does the system need to be connected to the internet? And like, how do you maintain, I guess, that connection, you know, with outages and things like that? The internet connection is going to provide a high level of monitoring, right? So yes, you really need to have that that Wi-Fi connection or that 4G connection. Um, but we make it easy, right? We give a few different options. So you can have 4G, you can have Ethernet, you can have Wi-Fi. But the big installer advantage, right, is that the software can be upgraded, cover the connection. Installers don't need to plan travel time, truck rolls for basic software upgrades. I like to think this is very 2023, right? It's in the cloud, it's connecting. It's not only giving software upgrades, but more importantly, it's managing those battery cells so that they have an extremely long life. Our installer audience are definitely very busy people, as I'm sure you know. Tell us you know, what it is about the installation process that they might like. Everything, <laughs> you know, um, as long as they eat their Wheaties, it's a, it's a heavy battery, so they want to come prepared. But the first thing we really did to help the installers is design our products with a simple installation in mind. We built our entire system, so it's consistent, it's organized, it's all proprietary parts and all of our components. The batteries have AC-DC internal inverters, so all the connections are AC. So no DC wiring for the installers. 
that results in installation for one or two batteries that literally take a few hours. The commissioning of the system, which is where we really, I think, are going to save guys headaches, it's typically anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes, but usually around 10 to 15 minutes. But the big part too is we, we're, we're big on training. So we certify every installer that works with us. What works with us. We've developed training classes that can be taken online. Um, we show up to the job site for their first installation and literally provide on-site support uh, as they connect that first battery. The course is gonna include testing that literally, you know, we'll put, we'll pass along Franklin certified installers and they can pass those licenses out to their master electricians that are doing these installs so they can train a whole fleet remotely. Last note to end on, the topic that just comes up in pretty much any conversation now, uh, concerns about supply chain or worried about product availability, stuff like that. Um, anything you can address there? Having been in this 15 years, uh, it goes through, you know, through swings where stuff's available and stuff isn't. Um, storage, for some reason, always just never seems to be avail available. Uh, that was a big, a big uh, pain point that we wanted to solve in our manufacturing process. And so we've, we actually started with our manufacturing where we have a tier one contract with our LFP supplier, one of the largest in the world. And on top of that, we build all our own equipment. So that means we're only reliant on raw materials and component providers, not so much OEM people. And then that results in more stable manufacturing. Um, it allows us to ramp, scale, accommodate exactly whatever the market needs. For installers who are interested now after hearing the pitch, where can they get in contact? Go to our website, uh, franklinwh.com. You'll see the contact us button. You can click on that and sign up to be a dealer. It literally takes two minutes. So that process is really easy. Uh, someone from our team will reach out to you and, uh, and start the certification. If uh, some installers hesitate a little bit before they, they don't want to sign up now, they could always visit our um, social media. Uh, we have all the uh, product updates and also project updates on them. And the best on our YouTube channels, we have most of our uh, installation guidance and material available there so they could take a first look before they decide on joining uh, something else. Well, hey, uh, Justin, Gary, uh, especially you, Gary, there out on the road there, uh, you know, just not taking a minute to no breaks. You jumped right in this. Uh, thanks for taking the time to make the pitch today. Thank you very much for hosting us. Yeah, thanks for all you're doing, man.